Hey, do you know what this card means? Well, come and find out. Come learn tarot with me. My name's Danielle, also known as the Holistic Mystic. And every once in a while, I kind of teach you what the symbology of tarot cards are. So today we're going to learn about the Hermit. When I see the Hermit, I immediately think about meditation, self-reflection, hibernation, and rest, as well as sharing and seeking spiritual knowledge. But the most important message for me is that you're a lighthouse. You are meant to help people. You're meant to help them build a bridge and shine your light brightly. And it's a reminder that you cannot do the work for the people you're trying to help. You have to help them build a bridge and walk alongside them. Surprisingly, there is a lot of symbology in this fairly simple card. So I'm going to kind of walk you through it. Um, it's right here. You see the mountains on the bottom. The mountains talk about development, spiritual mastery, growth, and accomplishments. Next, we have the lantern. And I don't know if I'm going to really be able to get it in because I can never get it to. All right. So right there is a six-sided star within that lantern. It's also known as the Seal of Solomon. Um, and it really speaks to wisdom, sharing spiritual knowledge, insights, or guidance, lighting your way one step at a time instead of giving you the entire journey at once. It's also a symbol of the light inside of each of us, which lets others know you're willing to help them and share your knowledge. I personally think it also talks about the light and darkness in each one of us. And then when we look at the lantern, it's kind of held at his heart. And the heart chakra is really the powerhouse of the energy system. The yellow staff right here that he's holding, it talks about power and authority as well as guidance, intellect, clarity, and balance. Sometimes it is referred to as a wand, which would suggest that the hermit has some type of special knowledge and training. You can also see that he has a gray cloak on. The gray cloak is for wisdom and that he gave up socially acceptable clothing and ideas now that he's on a higher spiritual plane. His white beard says his power is based in spirituality, that that spiritual wisdom takes experience and effort. A lot of people say that his head is bowed for receiving spiritual knowledge and that his eyes are closed to help turn himself inward. The hermit is associated with the number nine. It is the ninth card, which indicates a journey that doesn't end, but rather can inspire us to further explore as we travel to the top of the mountain many times. Nine is associated with the astrological sign of Virgo. It's also associated with the crystals of Howlite and Kyanite. So tell me, what jumps out to you when you see the Hermit card? Because it could be very well something extremely different than what I see. I'd love to hear it. Tell me in the comments.